Hello, an investigative team comprising foreign and local professionals have revealed that a report by Wall Street Journal's publication about the existence of a secret cemetery by the Nigeria army is a mere piece of fiction. The team of human rights lawyers, humanitarian workers, NGOs, journalists, academics have proved as untrue after embarking on a verification mission to the North East. The group made the revelation out of public presentation of its two-week research and investigation in Abuja. In a bid to unravel mysteries alleged by the U.S. Wall Street Journal in its publication, where it alleged an existence of a secret cemetery, a team embarked on the mission, armed with all the necessary support from the relevant stakeholders, facilitating access to military bases as male and marry barracks, public and military morgues, as well as free access to military personnel and their families in male and marry barracks. On completion of this thorough exercise, the Global Amnesty Watch concluded that the Wall Street Journal's report is false, misleading, and do not line with realities on ground. The Wall Street Journal report is misleading, highly misleading, one would say, and has no basis in truth. We found ourselves no secret graveyards anywhere throughout our visit in northeast Nigeria. We feel that the Wall Street Journal should tender an unreserved apology to the Nigerian authorities for the misleading report issue without recourse to the sensibilities of families and relatives of those engaged in the fight against terrorism. It also pointed out that the malicious piece was aimed at painting the Nigerian military in a bad light and to cause destruction till the final onslaught on Boko Haram Iswap terrorists confined to the fringes on the Lake Chad Basin region. We also recommend that the promoters of the Wall Street Journal should, as a matter of urgency, publish a retraction to its earlier misleading report, stating that the accurate picture of events with regards to the operations of the Nigerian military in Northern Nigeria. And we finally would suggest that in the absence of any such apology or retraction from the Wall Street Journal, then the Nigerian authorities should consider limiting, if not inhibiting, the activities of the publication in Nigeria. The detailed report also commended the Nigeria authorities for drastically reducing the casualty rate for three consecutive years. However, the team comprising human rights lawyers, humanitarian workers, NGOs, journalists, academics, have advised the New York-based newspaper to forthwith offer an apology to Nigeria and retract its earlier mischievous report. Now